Somalia President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud is attending the United Nations-sponsored climate change conference in Egypt this week. The COP27 meeting started Sunday and will last for two weeks. The Somali leader has an opportunity to make a strong case for money to promote resilience for his nation. A $100 billion fund is to be established, the capital to come from the countries that produce the most greenhouse gases. Developing nations like Somalia, who suffer the worst effects of global warming, are supposed to receive most of the money. Hassan Sheikh will be given a chance to address the conference. He needs to not only show the suffering of his people, he should bring video of those who are starving, but he needs to bring a plan of how Mogadishu will spend the funds to prevent future disasters. Resilience is about putting systems and infrastructure in place. First, there needs to be a plan for water, collection and storage, irrigation, keeping animals alive, distribution to communities. Based on past experience, the government should identify which areas suffer during droughts and make sure they are equipping these locations. The second priority in the plan needs to be food. Once again, collection and storage is the way to manage shortages. Grains need to be acquired or saved and proper facilities built to house them. A system to release staple foods and replace them so that they don't expire is needed. Another area to exploit in order to make sure there is a food supply is the blue economy. When there is a drought, the sea does not run out of fish. So there needs to be a plan for how fishing will help fill gaps caused when rain hasn't fallen. This may require the purchase and maintenance of boats as well as managing human resources for the task. Creating a fleet that produces regular catches and can increase their volumes when needed would be a winning project. By creating an infrastructure that provides water, staple foods and protein from the sea, the Somali government can encourage people to stay in their areas and not come to IDP camps in the capital. By presenting a well thought out plan to the United Nations conference, Somalia should be able to access the funds to make it a reality. ADN TV will continue to report on climate developments across Africa.